What is going on guys, welcome back. In this video today, we're going to learn how to denoise images using OpenCV in Python. So let us get right into it. All right, so we're going to learn how to denoise images in Python using OpenCV in this video today. And the images that we're going to denoise are a couple of images I got here from the internet. So basically you can see what the problem is. They're not very clean and we're going to try to change that using three different approaches in Python today with the package OpenCV. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to open up your terminal and you want to install OpenCV-Python. So pip or pip3 install OpenCV-Python. In addition to that, we're also going to need NumPy and matplotlib. So these are the three packages that we need for this video today. And then we can get right into the coding, we're going to open up a new Python file. And we're going to say import numpy as np import matplotlib.pyplot as plt and we're going to use matplotlib to display the results. And in the beginning here, we're going to say import cv2, which is open cv. Um, Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to define a function denoise image we're going to pass to this function an image path. So the path to the image on our uh, system, and then we're going to apply three different filters to this image, uh, which are going to be or three different approaches, which are going to be the Gaussian blur, the medium blur and the bilateral filter. So we're going to start by saying the noisy image is going to be equal to CV2 dot im read. So we're going to read the file from the disk. So we're going to pass the image path here. And then we're going to convert the color from BGR to RGB, which is necessary because uh, OpenCV and Matplotlib handle them differently. So noisy image is going to be equal to CV2 convert color and we're going to convert here um, color BGR to RGB. So blue, green, red to red, green, blue. And what's the problem here, we need to pass the image. So we need to say noisy image, and then this. Uh, and now what we're going to do is we're going to apply the different filters. Now the first thing is we're going to do a Gaussian blur, the Gaussian blur basically takes the weighted average uh, of the surrounding pixels to determine the value of the new pixel and closer pixels have more influence. And yeah, that that's like, there, there's a Gaussian function being used here. Uh, for the waiting. So we're going to say here, Gaussian denoised image is going to be equal to CB2 um, Gaussian blur, and we're going to pass here the noisy image, then we need to pass a kernel size, which is basically the size of the area to consider for this uh, weighted average. And I'm going to go here with 55. And then we're going to set also the standard deviation to zero. Uh, so that is going to be the image, we're going to also uh, say that the image is going to be the RGB of the image is going to be equal to CV2 convert color of uh, Gaussian denoised image CV2 color BGR RGB. Uh, and then we're going to do the same thing now for the median filter. Now the median filter is a little bit more simple, we just take the mean value of all the pixels in the kernel or under the kernel. So we're going to say median denoised image is going to be equal to CV2. Uh, median blur, we're going to pass the noisy image, we're going to pass a kernel size of 55 as well. Uh, or actually, because it's squared, we just have to say five. Um, so we don't have to pass a tuple. And then we're going to say again, median denoised image RGB is going to be equal to CV2 convert color, uh, median denoised image CV2 color, EGR RGB. And finally, the bilateral filter is a little bit more complex in terms of how it works. Basically, what it does is it reduces the noise while also uh, keeping the edges sharp. And it does that by considering um, by first of all, again, defining a, um, a number of pixels, a number of neighboring pixels to consider. But then it also considers the space so the distance um, between the pixels and also the color differences. And you can decide how much to consider which one by passing the parameters. But basically, we're going to say here, bilateral 
denoised image is going to be equal to CV2 bilateral filter. We're going to pass the noisy image. We're going to say that we want to consider nine. Um, this is, I think, the neighbor, the diameter of each pixel neighborhood. So, yeah, how far you want to go. Um, and then we're going to pass two values here indicating how much uh, we want to focus on the color difference and how much we want to focus on the space difference on the distance. Basically, I'm going to pass 75 for both of these. And then we're going to say bilateral denoised image RGB is equal to CV2 convert color bilateral image CV2 color BGR to RGB. There you go. Uh, so these are now the three resulting denoised images. All we need to do now is we need to display them. We're going to do that by saying PLT figure. We're going to define the fig size to be 1510. And then we're going to define a subplot. So we're going to say PLT uh, subplot. We want to have a two by two grid. And the first image should be uh, chosen. So we basically say we want to have two by two. And this is now the first one. We're going to say PLT title is going to be the noisy image itself. We're going to say PLT M show. And we're going to show the noisy image RGB. Uh, oh, actually, makes more sense to do it that way, because otherwise we would be constantly uh, reversing it. So we would be basically saying, take the RGB image and then reverse it again. So we want to have the noisy image. This is what we feed into these filters every time and into these blur functions. And then we have our RGB that we want to display here for matplotlib. So the only thing we need the RGB for is because we want to work with matplotlib. Um, all right, so we do PLT M show we do PLT axis is going to be off. And then we can basically copy this paste this. we're going to change this now to the second image. This is going to be the Gaussian blur image. This is going to be the Gaussian denoised image. And we're going to copy this again. I'm going to go down here. We're going to change this to three. This is going to be a median blur image, median denoised image, uh, actually RGB, don't forget that since we're working with a matplotlib. And finally, we want to also sh uh, show the bilateral filter result. So bilateral filter image, the fourth one, bilateral denoised image RGB. And in the end, PLT show. And then all we have to do is we have to basically say denoise image and the image paths, we're going to do noisy PNG, we're going to do noisy two PNG, and we're going to do noisy three dot JPEG. And now I can run this and Oh, this is actually not what I was looking for. Uh, what's the problem here? Oh, obviously, the problem is that I'm starting a new figure. I don't want to do that. I want to define the figure once and then I want to use four subplots. So this is what we want to do here. We have figure one, noisy image, Gaussian blur image, medium blur image and bilateral filter image. You can see by far the best result here is the medium blur image doesn't always have to be the case. In this case, it's the case. Uh, let's go to the next one or actually we did comment these out. So let me just do that again. There you go. Uh, for this one, I'm not sure which one I would consider the best. I think that Gaussian and medium blur are kind of on the same level. Maybe this one is a tiny bit more clear. Um, in my opinion, but yeah, these two are pretty, pretty noisy still. And then we have our uh, final one, which I think think also goes to the medium blur. So for these three images, it seems to be the case that the medium blur is the most successful one it doesn't always have to be the case. But in general, this is how you can denoise images, you get an image that's noisy, and you choose one of these, you can play around with the parameters here to optimize the results. But this is how you can easily do that uh, with OpenCV. And actually, I noticed that we don't need NumPy, I think this was for some old code that I used. But yeah, this is how you can do that in OpenCV. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and hope you learned something. If so, let me know by hitting a like button and leaving a comment in the comment section down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to not miss a single future video for free. Other than that, thank you much for watching. See you in the next video and bye.